Alright guys, so for this project we're going to need to get into our portfolio uh, oil pastel box and we're going to need some specific colors to achieve um, our skin tones. Uh, we'll walk through them here. First you'll need uh, white, yellow, red, rust, which is like this brick color, pink, blue, red orange. You'll also need a pencil. You will also need a wedge eraser and something to scrape away um, this. And for me, I just use a big giant spoon. That will do. All right, so once you have your colors, you want to come in here with your pencil. <clears throat> you want to draw a rectangle. We're going to start with light skin tones, and then we're going to kind of work our way into darker skin tones. When you're working with lighter skin tones for oil pastels, I like to start with white. And I'll tell you why in a moment. I'll show you why in a moment. But I like to begin with white. You obviously want to record this. So I'm going to write white here beside my square. <clears throat> the next thing is you want to look at the skin tone that you're trying to, 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 to mimic. My skin is lighter so I can maybe use mine. So in my skin, maybe with the lighting, whatever, it's got a little bit of yellow in it. So I'm going to color this yellow. And yellow is pretty light. So I want to come in here and add some yellow. That's good enough for now. I do want to record that I've used yellow. Okay. <clears throat> Next, if I look at my skin, deep down in there, there's some pink kind of floating around. So I'm just going to kind of add some pink. Okay. I want to record that I've done pink. And, uh, you know, maybe just to kind of blend it out a little bit, I'm going to use a little bit of this red-orange. Just to kind of uh, give it some, some fleshy color there. So I'm going to write red-orange. Now, the real hero of this particular thing is this rust color. <clears throat> it's kind of a brick color. We're going to go in here with a good amount of it because it's going to kind of work with the rest of our colors here. Now, how much is experimental? Okay, nobody really knows. It depends on the skin tone. So you have to just sort of kind of play with it. And I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to blend all this together, and then take a look. And see how close it is to a to my skin tone. I'll try to see it match. It's pretty close, right? And that's really what we want. We want it to be pretty close. Once we start doing the portrait, we'll get into the details of it. But I at least have a formula here. So now I have my square and I have a formula. Okay, let's take a look and see what if the skin were a darker color. Um, well, for still, but it, but still remains in the in the light family. So if it's still a lighter skin, but just a darker than say mine, which is pretty fair. Um, the best thing to do is you still want to kind of follow this pattern here. This rust color is a very good color for our pack because it's it's uh, it kind of gets us to where we need to be. So as long as you have a pretty good base coat down of all the other colors that you see in the skin, and again, you really need the skin that you're trying to reproduce, you need to be looking at that. Okay, so I'm going to add a bit more rust. Now, when I add this to my, when I add this to my, to my, my little shopping list over here, my color list over here. I want to um, to add it again because I didn't just use rust once I used rust again right? I used a little bit of rust and I used a rust again so I'm going to add that to it um, maybe for this particular skin tone it needs a little bit of red so I'll add that in there as well I'm going to try to smear it enough so that you don't see the lines that you've drawn but don't smear so hard that you move the colors around, they will 
float around on each other and they will make holes. You try to avoid that. So the more I play with this, the darker my skin tone will be. Rust again is really the well, sorry, rust is really the hero of this. Um, I used red, so I'm going to add red there. So you can darken your skin tone uh, with that. If you go too far, you can always come back in. Oil pastels are very versatile in this way. You can come back in here and you can lighten it back out with white. You can darken it back up with that, with your rust color, or maybe with some orange, some red, and blend those in. Just don't forget. Don't forget to record it on the side because this way you can go back and keep referencing it for future for future use. Why do we use a white base for this one? Because if you completely mess up, for example, if you were to take blue to this same color and you made that mistake, you can't really go over it at this point. That blue is just going to live in there forever and it's going to make a kind of a dingy spot on your skin. You can use your scraping tool and you can literally just erase it. As long as you have white as the background, the base color, you can go right back to that white and scrape all of that away. And then you can come in and you can even blend it back in and then add colors to it. And that will keep you from having to start the project all over again. You can just use a scraping tool in that particular area, blend in, and then add color to fix that particular mistake. All right, <clears throat> for darker skin tones, the trick here is to not use white. For our base coat, <clears throat> white is going to, uh, it like washes everything out, and it gives it this sort of this opaqueness and it keeps that brown color from really coming through, that rich brown color, and we need that. So for, for, so for darker skin tones, we want to begin with yellow. So I'm going to begin with just putting in my base coat of yellow on my paper. <clears throat> the best way to, to, to uh, reproduce skin tone again is by looking at the skin tone that you want to reproduce. For us today we're going to try to get to brown. Um, yellow is our base and for brown we want to use our red. Everyone has blood in their skin no matter their skin tone or ethnicity. And red will be prevalent in all of those. So you will see it, that warmth in everyone's skin. I've got this red color in here. I want to go ahead and blend it. And I'm going to get an orange color. I could just use a red orange, but we want that yellow base coat. Okay. So now I've got that blended in. I do want to now come in here with a little bit of blue. Just a little at first. Brown is um, the combination of yellow with a little bit of red and a little bit of blue. I want to go one direction and try to get all of this blended in without really pushing too hard on these colors. Your colors will begin to model, mottle. They will run together and become a kind of pool. So you can see this here where it's beginning to do that. So now I want to go back, I want to add a little more red. Okay. Now I'm going to start putting a little more of this rust in here. And blending. Don't forget, you must when you're doing your skin tones, whatever color choices you use, you want to record that. Okay, so so far right now I've used yellow. Hmm. 
and then I used red and then I blended it and then I put a little blue in Then I came back and I used red again and then I've used rust and you can see that I'm starting to get this sort of darker tone here I'm going to keep adding this blue There's purple in our packs. If you would like, you may use purple, violet. Um, I typically try to stay away from violet because it's easy to get lost. So I just use blue and rust. Darker skin tones are more complicated, especially with our color pack because they require lots and lots of layers to get that nice rich color. I typically like to make lines going in one direction. I like to blend it going the opposite direction. This will keep your um, colors from mottling and getting together. It keeps it consistent. If you're, if you're using a darker tone, if you start doing this to it and going around in circles, you will mess it up. Okay, so after I've got this kind of, it's, it's starting to get kind of muddy, this color, I, I wanna kind of go back and, and try to bring back some of that. You just want that, that underneath color to be nice and uh, with lots of like rich colors like floating around in there so that when you look through the color, you can see all the different aspects of the spectrum that you've kind of thrown in there. Um, and that looks really nice. Uh, this rust color, again, is your friend. Um, it's, it's a really good color to, to use on top, but you really need those like those nice colors in the, back, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the background there. So I'm, I'm pulling in some of the pattern of the table underneath here. Um, and you can see that kind of in these little white areas that are poking through. But that would get you uh, through the majority of this. Um, again, you want to try to match this up to the skin tone of, the, of, your, of your subject. But that will get you pretty close to a darker skin tone for that. The darker the tone, the richer the color. And the more color you'll have to use you'll have you'll find your and it's more imperative to have a, a formula here as a result but again we still you want to start with that yellow base that's the most important is that top color why because if you make some large mistake again you can use your scraping tool you can go back in as long as you have a lighter color as your base you can scrape it away if you don't have a lighter color, if you had started with say red or blue, then those colors, uh, you can still achieve the same color, but if, if you make a mistake, you cannot erase. There is no erasing. You will always have blue that will grab the paper and it will always be there. And then you'll have this kind of a darker color that you'll have to work through, so it's harder. So those are the two kind of colors uh, that we're kind of working with, light, fair skin, a little bit darker skin, and then a rich kind of this um, this sort of a darker even darker color skin um, color uh, skin color so these are the three tones that we, we wanted to kind of cover today the best way to get the one for you is to look at it experiment record and practice it so that will get us through this particular assignment all right finally guys you should have uh, your scissors Go ahead and cut out your skin tones, uh, your uh, three bests, and I want you to um, make sure you have the the recipe for how you got each one of them. Go ahead and cut out the squares. It doesn't really matter if uh, you know there's extra like this one. It doesn't really matter. Go ahead and glue those onto your sketchbook page uh, for credit and turn that in.